hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video series we are going to see how we can make use of testing to write our automation framework so basically testing is one of the most important part of automation and uh, it is most widely used automation framework in selenium and apm also so if you are automating your mobile applications or web application or even your rest apis you can make use of this uh, test ng to automate your application so in this video we are going to understand the basics of test ng like uh, we are going to see how we can install the test ng and how we are going to make use of different annotation we will be also seeing in this video series how we can make use of assertions to assert our test cases and how we are going to use our test ng xml file to execute and trigger our automation so without wasting time let us get started on test ng so yeah so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new project and for this new project i will go here and i will create a mavid project so you don't need to select any architecture type if you are using IntelliJ it's good if you are using Eclipse so in Eclipse you need to install one plugin for TestNG otherwise uh, TestNG comes pre-bundled so you don't need to do anything so we will just click on next so here if you want you can select different versions of the JDK that is there so for the time being I'm just using 15.0.2 and I will just click here on the next button and then here I am going to give the project name so we are going to give the project name as maybe test ng practice test ng tutorial and here in the artifact coordinates if you want you can give the groups id and the artifact id and the version so say for example I can give the group id as or doc and artifact id i can keep it as it is so now with this i will just finish the project and i will open it in a new window so with this our test ng is created test ng project is created and now if i just open all the directories so you will see there are two directories created one is src and uh, sorry so this src directory is created and in this we have two folders one is main and one is test and also we have this one form.xml file so this is the file where we need to add our test ng dependencies and any other dependencies that we want to add like selenium or apm so this is the heart of any automation framework and we are just going to start adding the dependencies so I will just open one more browser and here I will search for test ng dependencies and I will go to this maven repository so there are a lot of versions of this dependency and uh, maybe I will just go with the latest one and I will click here and uh, it is having some different options like if you want to use it with Gradle, with, with Kotlin, with SVT, IV so I am just using it with Maven so I will just copy this and here what I need to do I need to create a dependency stack so after creating a dependency stack I will just paste this dependency and I will remove the scope test why I am removing this scope test because if I am not removing this scope test then I can only use it in the test directory but say for example if I want to use it in the main directory so I don't want to limit it a limit the scope of test ng to test directory only so i will just remove this and after that i am going to search for selenium libraries so 
we are just going to use this selenium java client so we are having this beta version but beta version might not be stable so i will just pick up this latest version which is a stable one and i will copy it and i will paste the dependency here so we have already launched the id we have created a new maven project and then we have created a simple project and uh, added the artifacts coordinate after that we open the pom.xml and we added all the dependencies so we have added the selenium dependency and testng dependency like so now if we also want to add the apm dependency maybe we can just add it uh, maybe if we want to use it later we will see but for now i will just add those dependencies so this is apm java client and i will just take the latest version and i will copy it and i will add here so whatever dependencies that you are ha having you just need to add and you need to sync it so once all these three dependencies are added i am just going to refresh this maven changes so that it is able to install all the dependencies on my local system so you can see here are the external libraries that it is installing and it will so once this is done it will install all the clients here in the external libraries and uh, so you see here are the libraries installed selenium and then uh, org apache commons and apart from that it will also be having the apm frameworks right hope you like my video do subscribe to my channel thank you